Welcome back, guys. Last week, we left off with trying to sort out our broken windlass, sitting in the protected anchorage of Puerto Don Juan, getting ready to ride out some anticipated storms. And sure enough, they rolled through. But luckily, our anchor held on tight through the night. Another day, eh? Yep. Anchor held last night. We did get a little bit of a storm coming in, huh? Yeah, we ended up with like over 30 knot winds, but uh, it held just fine, so that's good. And now you're making headway on the uh, windlass? I'm trying. I haven't made much headway. I'm just uh, eliminating, process of elimination, trying to figure out what's going on. So um, it does not seem to be a power issue. This seems to have power going to it. It could be a corroded terminal on the motor, uh, so I'm going to check that. I just took the power off the uh, the, termi the terminals, and so I'm going to clean them up, and then I'm going to try to drop the motor and, and clean it up too and look and see if the uh, brushes are worn or what the issue might be. What is going on? We were just hanging out, and now look at this. I don't know. But it's coming over these mountains fast and it's falling through and even the local boats are coming in. The fishermen are coming in from the, uh, the sea out here to take refuge. They're going to get up against this mountain to hide from the waves and the rain the best they can. Because here comes the rain. Here it comes. I got you going to get wet. Breathe me. What are we going to do? Well, just like that, the uh, storm passed so quickly, and uh, the sun's out and shining, and Kurt's getting back to work. We've got uh, a couple of friends who are bored here in the Anchorage and want to help out, so they're on their way right now to see if we can do some troubleshooting and see what's going on and see if we can uh, get some headway on the repair of our windlass. Show me your hands. <laughs> that might be the problem. <laughs> we think we know what the issue is. We think it's a, a problem with the brushes. The brushes are real worn down. You can see all the carbon dust that was inside there. So we cleaned everything up, put it back together, and we're gonna put some power on it and see if we can get this thing to run at least long enough that we can make it to the next marina and get the proper parts. Well, let me see if I can do this without putting it all back together. Okay, we're all here. The breaker's on. It's the moment the of truth. On. The heat is on. Let's point all the attention to Kurt. Okay. No! You can hear the solenoid click. Damn. Damn. Successful, but not successful, right? Kinda. We narrowed it down to the engine, or to, not the engine, the motor, and uh, narrowed it down to a couple different problems, but. I don't know. There's not much more I can do today, so I'm going to go get cleaned up and then relax. It's, yeah. it's Sunday, fun day Sunday after all, so let's go have some fun. Yeah, yeah, we're going to go have some fun. Normally, our version of fun on a Sunday fun day is a quick dinghy ride to the beach. However, this time we had some curious coyotes hawking it all up, and by the looks of it, they were in no hurry to share or leave. The next day, Kurt was back in the anchor locker, determined to figure things out. Back at it again. Still working at it. Okay, so I've been working on the 
motor, trying to get the brushes cleaned and trying to, to get them to extend far enough to at least work for a little while till we get replacements. I'm gonna try one more thing, but I don't really know what else to do at this point. I'm pretty much out of ideas. I've got it all clean, the connections are good, the voltage is good. I'm only gonna spend a short time working on it today and then I'm, I'm giving up okay. and I just have to do it by hand. I think all it needs is brushes, but uh, I may order another motor as well, just for a, um, spare. For a spare. All right, you put it all together. This is the last hurrah. <laughs> It is the brushes. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't think this is a uh, very permanent solution, but it is working hopefully long enough to get us to the next marine store. So I guess it is the brushes. Kurt's victory was short-lived. We attempted to lift the anchor shortly after and the motor literally burned up and so did Kurt's patience. So I decided it was a good time to get off the boat and take Rigby for a ride to give the captain some space and to look for some sea turtles. Today is the full moon, and we have been invited to the La Gringa Full Moon Flotilla, which I can't even begin to explain to you guys what it is, so we're going to take the camera and show you guys. And we got really lucky that we don't have to lift this anchor up manually because our friends aboard SV Lusty invited us, uh, and we are basically what hitching a ride off of them. <laughs> and they invited Rigby on the boat too, so it should be pretty fun. We're going to trade the catamaran life for Mono whole life for a day so we're gonna pack up and get going my cooking game I think is getting better I've made a cheesy chicken mac and cheese baked delicious thing with some fresh basil on it hopefully it tastes as good as it looks and hopefully everybody likes it and if they don't like it well guess what Kurt's eating for the next week <laughs> <laughs> it's been raining for days now, been running like a child. Can't feel the cold, but I'm lost here with you. Come on, good girl. Lost as I should. Today we are on somebody else's boat. This is Max. Hi everybody. This boat is named Lusty. This is Max's boat and it is a what? Lusty is a Columbia 56. Can you refit this, this boat? Right? Yeah, we spent a couple years uh, on a refit and um, had zero experience and here we are now. How long have you been sailing? Just about a year. Yesterday? A over a year, yeah. Yeah, we started. And he's got this lovely companion who is a little shy right now, but we're gonna get her uh, to open up a little bit later. Her name's Katyn. Hi, Hi. Katyn! Hi, Katyn. Flotilla is a beloved tradition held by the Sea of Cortez cruisers. The concept is quite simple. Grab a floaty, grab a beer, start at one end, ride down the stream, and repeat until the tide gets so low your butt drags on the rocks. Hi! Wave. Although we enjoyed the float, what I was happiest about was the fact that we had finally caught up to the fleet and I was able to socialize and make many new friends. Yeah, 
had a great time, had a casualty. Me. That's how you know it's time to get out of the water. Finally, I was able to witness firsthand the great camaraderie between cruisers. And just like that, we are back aboard La Vida Gypsy. Good times were had by all. The full moon was beautiful and lovely. We got up early and made it back to our original anchorage and we are back on board. And now we are going to do something that we've been talking about that we did not want to do, but we have to do. And that is lift this anchor up by hand and go to the next spot because we are hearing rumors that there are whale sharks somewhere behind this mountain. And as long as we're in here, yes, we're protected from hurricanes. Yes, we're tucked away. Yes, we're comfortable. But out there is what we want. So we are going to bite the bullet, lift this anchor up and go sit out there until we find a whale shark. <laughs> That took like an hour. We sped it up for you guys. <laughs> so that it seemed faster, but that was a long time, but we made it out. And now I am getting us out of here and we are going over to the other side of the mountain. Our journey and first attempt at finding the whale sharks would begin at Lamona. We had heard some stories of recent sightings from fellow cruisers, so we decided it was worth checking out. Also, this particular anchorage was pretty well protected, which was especially crucial for us due to our handicap with our anchor. We are gross and dirty and sweaty and hot. And honestly, it feels like we just did like three night shifts, even though we just went around the mountain. But we are hoping that it is worth the trouble because it is whale shark season, guys. From June to November, they say there are whale sharks in the Bay of LA. We thought we saw some on the way over here. We saw some things in the water, but we're so excited to see one that I'm pretty sure was just a wave or something, but we are anchored. We've covered all of our outdoor equipment to protect it from the sun because we intend on staying here as long as we can until we see a whale shark. So we're showered up, got all that grime off of us, and I'm starting to feel like a human again, and I'm starting to feel excited about whale sharks. We are not going to let this <laughs> anchor bring us down. We have got whale sharks to find, and I'm confident we're going to find one. And I'm confident we're going to fix that windlass. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> but we, we've got to get a new motor. And actually, we've got a friend that is going to bring us that new motor. Just happens to be in the States right now. We'll yeah. be coming back to this area, so it worked out great. We're yeah. going to buy us a motor and get him to bring it back with us. So we really appreciate that help. It's kind of what the cruisers do for each other, and it's going to work out for us. Yeah, the cruiser community came in clutch, and hopefully while we're out here, we find a whale shark. And hopefully you guys liked this episode. If you did, smash that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Patrons, thank you so much for putting the win in our sails. And we will see you guys, hopefully, with a whale shark next week. <laughs> see ya.